was still in high school and I was looking for some work on the side and then I started working in a kitchen helping a chef and washing dishes and it took off from there. I mean, I, I previously majored in accounting in college and I liked the kitchen more than I figured sitting at a desk the rest of my life. <laughs> so I stayed in the kitchen. Our menu is pretty, not that complicated, it's pretty simple. It's tap room food, bar food. So we can kind of keep the costs lower in that respect by using farm farm items. Like we don't have filet mignon or, or rack of lambs or anything like that on the menu or any veal. So by keeping it with the, the hamburger, our hamburger is 80% farm from two, two hours south of here. And um, some of our other items on the menu are also the jerky, the beef from the jerky is from the farm, the turkeys from our turkey club, uh, that's also from the farm, uh, the hams. We, uh, I try to get as much things from local farms as I can regarding meats and also produce. The mussels in particular that we have on the menu are beer mussels and these we will change every week according to like what new beer has come out from downstairs. We try to utilize the newest beer that's just been released to introduce it to the public in food as well as on tap. After they're done brewing the beer, they drain the liquid off for the beer and what's left is the spent grain. We take that and dry it out and, and use it for baking purposes. Uh, it goes into our spent grain brownie. So it's actually, we replaced the flour with, with ground spent grains, which is basically we're making our own flour. And so we need to make that in the brownies and also the spent grain crackers that the company the salumi and cheese plate. A farm actually picks up the rest of the spent grain and they use it to feed their cattle and pigs and stuff. Yeah, we have an arrangement with the farm and they come and uh, feed their animals with it. These are pork bellies that are in there that um, I brined in High Westified, one of our beers. It's a High Westified Imperial Stout and it's 12.5% alcohol. and intermixed with the beer is black gold hot sauce made by a local sauce company here, Co-op Sauce, which they aged our, this sauce for us in one of our previously used beer barrels that, and he adds cappuccino stout to the sauce. So all that is what this bacon has been brined in for over a month. Sometimes it's only a few weeks, but this I wanted a heavy cure on to absorb the flavors of the hot sauce as well as the beer. I, I find it very cool that we can like talk to somebody a couple hours from here and get the meat here, boom, in a couple hours. And it's, we know where it's from, we know the people, and we know that it's fresh and organic and raised properly and treated right, you know. A lot of the people in the city here know Slagle Family Farms because they're in a lot of restaurants here in town now. Uh, we get our produce from a local farm down the street here, Urban Till. Okay. They're down on Roosevelt Road, west of here, and they deliver it to us six days a week. He'll let me know early in the week what specials he has, and, and I'll work off of that. This week he has fresh rhubarb and fresh asparagus coming up from the, this is from the same farm where I get meat from. So, and they, I've also gotten beets from the him. His mom has a garden and she'll sell her beets and stuff. So, it's fun because then I can utilize, well the meat's from the farm and the beets are from the farm and we can make a salad or something with, you know. Do you? Here and stuff. Yeah, we treat everybody like family, yeah. We like to get along with who we deal with and make them feel the love. <laughs> gotcha.